Hey, it's Andy, and in this video, I'm going to show you the daily warm-up exercise that all my students play. It sounds like this. I'm going to show you how to play that, and we're going to practice it together. Here we go. So, it's a major scale, and it's on the three thinnest strings of the guitar, and here's the fingering. You're going to start with finger one on the third string. When I say third string, I mean third string up from the floor, okay? So the third string is the G string of the guitar. Finger one on the third string. Then finger three. And then we're going to move on to the next string, okay? The next string is going to be Finger one on the second string, finger two, and then finger four, and then here we are on the final string, finger one on string one, finger three, and finger four. Okay, I'll say all those numbers again. Let's start over. Here it goes. One, three, followed by one, two, four, followed by one, three, four. Now I think it's important, no matter where you're at in your guitar learning career, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, that you learn how to play one finger, one finger, one finger, one finger, one finger, one finger. You don't want to leave all your fingers down and be squeezing multiple fingers and to be keeping the fingers on the guitar and holding them because that's going to create too much tension and you'll be faster if you just let your fingers go as you proceed through the notes and just squeeze one note at a time. Okay, now if you're at home going, oh, I'm just going to do, you know, pointer finger. I'm just going to play it with one finger. You're not going to get as fast. You're going to be stuck. I know it's easier, but I want you to learn to use all your fingers. If you're at home saying, I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to play, you know, finger one and two, and I won't use four. I'll just stretch for it. You're going to be a little bit more fumbling, you know, compared to flowing through it real easily. Okay, so I want you to use every single one of your four fingers to play the music. Now I can't stress enough the importance of the correct fingering. You want to use the one finger per fret method. That means whenever you play fret one, use finger one. Whenever you play fret two, use finger two. Whenever you play fret three, use finger three. Whenever you play fret four, use finger four. Okay, so as you practice the scale, you should be practicing finger number one, finger number three, finger number one, finger number two, finger number four, finger number one, finger number three, finger number four. Okay, a total beginner would use some other fingering. They would maybe, I don't know, play finger one for every note. Okay, that's a great way to get started, but that's not going to get you very far in the long run. You want to learn the one finger per fret method. Each finger plays its own fret. Okay, if you have trouble stretching to try to reach all the notes, that's okay. As you practice, you can play a note and then let that note go. Move your hand up a bit and then play the next note. Okay, and then as you move your hand, that's called a micro shift. You might play one and two, and then you might say, four is too far, I can't reach it, I can't stretch up there. Okay, take your hand, move it up. Now play four. That's called a micro shift, and so you, you can move back and forth. Your thumb just kind of stays super glued on the back. It pivots, okay? And so you might move around, you might play one, and two, and then you might go like this, and then you play four. So you don't have to stretch, you can just move up for it. 
It's very important to follow this correct fingering. You don't want to be doing weird things like stretching in weird spots. Um, so be sure you follow the appropriate finger numbers. All right, here we go. Let's start with a nice slow speed. Okay, here we go. We're going to make every note last for two beats. All right, here it goes. One, two, ready, go. One, three. Reverse. Four, three, one, four, two, one, three, one. There we go. If you have to play it a few times and pause the video just to commit it to memory, you should do that now. You should try to remember how to play it forward and also how to play it backward. Play it descending, okay? Play it up and down, ascending and descending, until you can completely memorize the pattern. The pattern is one, three, one, two, four, one, three, four, and then descending. Four, three, one, four, two, one, three, one. Here we go. One, two, ready, go! One, three, one, two, four, one, three, four, four, three, one, four, two, one, three, one. Good. Okay, now what we're going to do next is we're going to take that pattern that you just learned and we're going to move it up one fret. Okay, so now we're going to start on fret two. You don't have to learn anything new. Just play the same thing you already know. Just play it one fret higher, okay? It's nothing new to learn. It's just the same thing you just played, except for instead of over here, now it's over here. So we're starting on fret number two, playing the exact same scale. Here we go. One, two, three, four. again but this time whoosh, slide up to fret three so now we're starting on fret three and we're playing it again you know what to do after you finish then you whoosh, slide up to fret four and play it again guess what we're going to do every fret we're going to do five we're going to do six we're going to go all the way up Okay, we're going to go all the way to 12, and that's where we'll stop. Okay, let's do that whole thing from 1 all the way up to 12. Start from the beginning. Here we go. <coughs> this is the entire exercise. 1, 2, ready, go.
last one. <laughs>